Jason, and this is After Midnight, the only late night game show that makes you ask, why God, why? <laughs> Let's meet tonight's panelists. <laughs> she is a comedian. You can see co-headline the Hollywood Improv with Blair Saki at the Netflix is a Joke Festival in May. It's Amy Miller. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. This is not my first time on television, but if everything goes according to plan, it will be the last. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a comedian you can see in his new special, The Blue-Eyed Mexican, and live at the Punchline in Philly this weekend, it's Shane Torres! Hey, Taylor. I'm gonna be requesting a lot of bathroom breaks, but not for the reason you think. <laughs> I have food poisoning. <laughs> He's a comedian whose new special, Dirt Nap, is out now on 800-pound Gorilla Media. It's Kyle Kinane! Thank you. Uh, believe it or not, I am not required by law to go door to door and introduce myself to the neighbors. <laughs> Tonight, you'll all be playing for a custom craft from me, Taylor Tomlinson, wow. the host of After Midnight. Gorgeous. No big deal. Well, no big deal. He's an owl, but he's a pine cone. How many minutes did that take you? <laughs> too many, too many. <laughs> so let's start with the stories people are talking about on the internet today. It's the group chat. <laughs> Buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. <laughs> manhood, it's what separates the boys from the men. But how does one become manhood? Well, there's a new $18,000 alpha male boot camp that seeks to answer that question. Look at each other. Look to your left as your right. More than 60% of you will not be here Friday, I guarantee it. And I'll be dead, I'll take this knife off my waist and carve this Change my look. <laughs> this makes me miss my father. <laughs> that is a Thanksgiving. <laughs> I, uh... Apparently, the modern day nights is a three day intensive boot camp that subjects men to military inspired physical and mental challenges. <laughs> oh, you know the mental challenge of getting blasted in the face? <laughs> <laughs> The guy's just checking his phone with, yeah, with, his, head, with his headlamp on. With yeah. his headlamp. Wild. That's their social media guy. <laughs> Panel, what would be on the itinerary for your alpha male boot camp? <laughs> Amy. Consent class. <laughs> no, means no, Shane. <laughs> You're gonna do this now? <laughs> Shane. A picture of my father hugging and my li mother living. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. It's gonna get darker. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Snorting three a leave and staying awake through a director's cut of the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't logged into Facebook lately, congratulations, you're under 50. <laughs> Enjoy the social currency of youth. <laughs> Apparently, Facebook is getting spammed with bizarre AI-generated images, like this literal fried chicken Jesus. There are currently thousands, <laughs> and maybe even millions, of AI profiles on Facebook posting pictures like this Kentucky Fried Jesus. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Over the last week, I've seen every form of Jesus imaginable. From bread Jesus, to mixing bowl Jesus, to solid gold Jesus, Pepsi octopus, crab and plastic bottle Jesus, Garlic Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling born again. <laughs> I'm so hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> AI, stay in your lane. We already have a garlic Jesus. His name is Stanley Tucci. <laughs> That's it. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> According to this TikTok user, Side Money Tom, these AI images are bots' attempts to get maximum engagement by combining Jesus with other popular subjects. So, panelists, what sort of AI Jesus would a bot create to get your attention? Kyle. Thick nurse kickflip Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's also his porn name. 
porn search, weirdly. <laughs> I kind of thought that was the idea of the game. <laughs> uh, I thought that's what you Googled that <laughs> Amy? 12 pack Jesus, abs and beers. <laughs> <laughs> White Claw Christ, also the name of a monster truck in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> New York's dollar pizzas are at half mast this week since the passing of beloved Central Park owl Flacco. No. Oh. I'm sorry, Amy. <laughs> His star shined too bright, and the autopsy revealed the cause of death was rat poison and pigeon herpes. <laughs> now, now I'm sure you want to laugh. Ha ha ha. Pigeon herpes and rat poison. What is he, my ex wife? Well, guess what? <laughs> It's not funny. So comedians, please buzz in and help us destigmatize rat poison and pigeon herpes with a line from a helpful PSA. <laughs> Amy. Look. <laughs> We've all fooled around in a park with a questionable species. <laughs> it's important to bag it up, okay? <laughs> any bag you can find, just any old bag. <laughs> <laughs> So important. Kyle. If we can take anything from this, no matter what creature you are, poison and herpes, bad news. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> Shane. Catching pigeon herpes isn't as hard as catching the pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> I would know, and I feel a cold sore coming on. <laughs> All right, trigger warning, this next story is sports and complicated. <laughs> Dodger star Shohei Otani held a press conference yesterday claiming that his interpreter stole $4.5 million from him to pay off illegal gambling debts. Otani has spent the last week fending off accusations that he himself was the one who spent those millions gambling, and the interpreter is just helping him cover it up. Ooh, juicy, I assume. <laughs> Comedians, this scandal's too confusing for me, so give me a baseball scandal I can understand. <laughs> Kyle. It's boring on purpose, so you appreciate when football starts. <laughs> <laughs> Amy. Short stops are actually tall. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Shane. Batteries aren't made in factories. They're spontaneously created when Philly fans get upset. <laughs> One. I don't either. Okay, good. <laughs> They're animals. <laughs> uh, is acting art? No. But it is, but it is a fun hobby that no one will let me do. <laughs> TikTok user Lewis Saunderson38 is showing that you don't need writer sets or subtlety to be a star, just a phone and an imagination. I love you both so much. More than anything. No! When they showed me these videos, I thought he had a crying filter on. <laughs> Is he marrying his sister, according to this man? <laughs> this man knows the perfect combination of death, murder, and sisters. Comedians, buzz in and give us your best melodramatic performance, and then tell us what incredibly specific scenario you were acting out. Shane. You either get busy living, or you get busy dying. Things I say at Arby's when they're out of big beef and cheddar. <laughs> Or Kyle, sorry. All right, this is the acting part. Okay. <laughs> oh. There's showbiz is watching this, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. absolutely. <laughs> it's me ashamed to find out that somebody's been trying to reach me about the extended warranty on my car. <laughs> and I haven't been around to answer the call. <laughs> Amy. No, mama. No. Ma mama. You want to see the baby hands for it? Mama. <laughs> mama, no. Why again? No, not again, mama. That 
that's me in November when my mom tells me who she voted for. <laughs> it's so small, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> in the lead with 800 points.